Building plans are created in a CAD program, but they are most often distributed as a PDF file. There are measurement tools built into the free Adobe Reader, and I'll cover these briefly in this video. While it's possible to have scale and unit information included in a PDF, it's best not to rely on this, as those values could be set incorrectly or they may not use the units that you prefer. Because of this, the first thing to do when you open up Adobe Reader is to go to the 2D Measurement Preferences. On Windows, this is found by going to Edit, Preferences, Measuring 2D. On a Mac, go to the Acrobat Reader menu, then Preferences, Measure 2D. For both operating systems, make sure that Use Scale in Units from Document is unchecked. Once this is set, you won't have to change it in the future. Now I'll open up a PDF set of building plans and go to a page I want to measure from. By default, the measurement tools are not shown. To make them visible, click on the Tools tab in the upper left. This shows a list of available tool sets. If you don't see Measure as an option, click on Show More to have the rest of the tool sets displayed. When you find the Measure tool set, click it and you will be brought back to your document with the tool set active. Notice that this places the Measure toolbar at the top. From that toolbar, click on Measuring Tool. This makes that tool active and it also displays two overlays. In the upper right, you can choose what the tool snaps to. From this overlay, you can also choose the type of measurement you make, either distance, perimeter, or area. The overlay in the lower right displays information about the tool you're using. The plans will say what scale they are drawn in. For instance, these plans are drawn where one quarter inch equals one foot. The overlay in the lower right shows that our current scale ratio is set to one inch equals one inch. If I right click on the page and choose change scale ratio and precision, a dialog box appears that allows me to set this to one quarter inch, 0.25, equals one foot and click OK. Note that you may not see change scale ratio and precision as an item in that menu if you first didn't turn off use scale and unit from document. Now the scale ratio says that one quarter inch equals one foot. Measuring a distance involves three clicks. First, you click where the measurement will start. Then move your mouse to where the measurement will end. Notice the red squares that appear. These indicate snapping is occurring. When you have the mouse where the measurement should end, click again. Finally, you need to decide how far out the value should be displayed from the measured points. Move your mouse to where you want the values to be and click one last time. Now the measurement is displayed and you are ready to start another. If you start a measurement and want to cancel it, press the Escape key. This also gets you out of using the measurement tool, so you'll have to click it again to activate it. Measurements can be deleted by clicking on them and then pressing the Delete key. The perimeter tool works in a similar manner. Each time that you click, you create a new corner. You can either double click to end your measurement, or after you've made all the measurements you want, you can then right click and choose complete measurement. Hovering over a perimeter will show you the value. The area tool works the same way. Every time you click, you're adding a new point. Notice that you can't cross over one of your first lines because this would make an invalid area. To complete the area, return to your first point and click. 